Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the eastern jungle, just to the west of the lower staging area, building a treehouse. This build has been a long time coming, and has been requested by quite a few people, but the earliest request I could find was from Sabbath King on my cabin build guide video, so thank you for the suggestion. This build requires a decent understanding of foundation supports, and how to work with the stability and support systems within the game, and thus wasn't really something I was that prepared to do at the time this suggestion was made, when I roughly had probably between 7 and 10 hours in the game. However, with now almost 150 hours, I am far more prepared to make something that looks good and works as a functional home. This treehouse is designed to be somewhat disguised amongst the trees, though it's fairly large and spacious. Treehouses aren't perfect, and they're far from the best choice of base, but they're fun to build and look quite visually appealing. I think in the future I could possibly attempt a more viable treehouse design that is a bit better hidden and is perhaps smaller and better disguised, but for now let's get started. Firstly we'll start with the tree platform itself. This platform is reasonably easy to build if you know how to build circular foundations. As you can see I'm building a circle around the tree with regular and wedge foundations, and building foundations down the tree for visual support. I eventually ran these supports all the way down to the base of the trunk. This of course isn't necessary, but I think it helps to make the structure look a little bit better and a bit more grounded. I then used some wedge and regular ceilings to build out from the foundations in the standard circular format, going out by two tiles. I then placed the elevator when the platform was complete. I initially wanted to place it within the platform itself so I could make it safe by fencing it off. However, I didn't like how the elevator interacted with the build and restricted the flow of the build itself, so I eventually ended up placing it on the outside of the platform, and I then headed down to the end of the elevator where it had spawned and built a platform there for access to and from the elevator, creating a small platform with a staircase to access the rest of the jungle floor as the exit platform sits in a small ditch beneath the tree roots. Next for the walls. Before building the walls I had changed the position of the elevator again, ignore that it was just a bit of experimentation, it will be returning back to its original position again in the furnishing phase. I decided to use frames all the way around the build, covering the perimeter of the platform with two tile high walls. I then cut the ground floor into three separate rooms and placed a layer of ceilings atop the walls, leaving space for a staircase in the right side room from the entrance. I did have to use pillars occasionally to support the ceilings, but it wasn't too difficult to find out where they would be needed. I then built one more tile of walls atop the ceilings for the first floor. Next for the roof, I built a single tile wide ring of ceilings around the first floor walls, having to use pillars on the middle wedge of each wedge section to support the ceilings. I then placed walls on the inside edge of each ceiling piece, allowing me to place roof pieces on both tiers of the roof structure. I did then have to place pillars clipping inside the tree itself to support the second tier of ceilings to allow for placement of roof pieces, 
which wasn't too bad, but can look a little messy if you like things very much clean and organised. Finally, I built another ceiling section atop the second wall tier, and finished off the roof with regular, wedge and inverted wedge roof pieces. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching via the elevator platform, this little walkway makes the treehouse look a lot more established in the environment and gives a comfortable, clean entranceway. Walking into the build, visitors are greeted by a taxidermied gorilla. Let's go left and head into the bedroom. This room is of course where the resident will sleep and store various personal items such as clothing, trinkets, etc. This is a spacious bedroom that suits this build quite well. Heading back out into the hall and right of the main door, we enter the kitchen. This room is a little more cramped due to the staircase in the room, but this kitchen is still very much functional and offers a comfortable place to prepare and eat food. Heading upstairs we reach the storage area. This is where various different resources and items can be stored in these large chests. Following the curve of the build we then enter the workshop, which is where a variety of items can be made, processed and refined. This is a perfect little workshop for any exile, offering plenty of facilities for the residents. And there we have it, a treehouse in the eastern jungle of the exiled lands. Thanks for watching and thank you to the various people that have suggested a treehouse over the past few months. It is about time I got it done, but you know, I think it 
had I approached it uh, not having the knowledge that I have now of how to work with different structures within the game, I think it would have come out a lot worse. Nevertheless, I still really enjoyed building it. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, and if you have any future build suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, anything is welcome. Don't forget to join the fun on our Discord through the link in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel, the link to my Patreon is also in the description, with various different tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at the new videos before anybody else, your name at the end of videos, and more. On that note, a thanks to our patrons, Sammy, Doomshade, and Dogfox. If you're new here, check out the rest of the content we have on this channel. There's plenty more Conan Exiles content coming every Wednesday and Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications to be the first to be notified when I stream on Twitch, to be the first to see the next video, and join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.